Hello everyone, welcome back to this Siemens i7-1500 and the Cinemics i120 server control series video. And in this video, I will discuss the number six topic, how can we use the technology object in TI Portal TO? How can we set the closed loop game parameter, that's the KV in the TO, when we do the TO commissioning. As shown in this picture, in the TO technology object, when we tune the gain from the commissioning catalog, that's the parameter we will adjust. Basically, we will use the trace curve to monitor the set point of the position and the feedback of the position. Tuning the positioning gain, that's the highly application-oriented. If your mechanical stiffness shows a strong, basically this gain can be a certain higher. If the mechanical stiffness shows the soft, so the gain shouldn't be too high. You should adjust to a certain low. And for the positioning loop gain, it named KV here. And especially we will discuss this topic, the DIC, dynamic servo control. And this DIC allows the positioning closed loop locate into the drive side in the drive CU control unit. When we use the Siemens servo drive, for example, Siemens S120 or Siemens S210, the server drive. So enable this DIC function, dynamic server control, your control closed loop, this game actually locate in the drive side. But where the TO, this parameter, this window here, we will set parameter into the drive. And the drive itself will run this closed loop. This allows the closed loop can run very fast and you can have a very wide bandwidth and basically your gain can be a certain high. Uh, for example, in this demo, the gain here, I set 124. I will explain why I set 24. This value actually come from one reference value we can calculate using some reference value reading from the drive. I will explain this. And before we discuss this tuning gain based on the dynamic server control, one manual, I highly recommend you read the detail. If you go to the ID 10-9779884, check in this menu S7-1500T approach to access optimization. So this is a very important concept manual. It only have 25 pages. For example, from this flowchart we will see here. If you are using the Siemens drive, highly recommend you enable dynamic server control. So if you enable the DIC function, basically you will do is in the TI portal, the TO area, you use the one button tuning. This is as a third topic, I introduced how can we use the one button tuning, tuning the drive. And after you click this one button tuning, you will get some parameter that locate in the drive side. And we can read the parameter from the drive and then we can use the parameter as a reference to calculate something. Or in the TI portal side, there is one button you can click read from the drive basically all the parameters you can read directly from the drive. You almost do nothing. So this is the basic concept. You enable the DCS and you run the one button tuning. And then the drive will figure out itself, calculate a lot behind. And then you read the parameter, apply those parameters. And then you use the trace to verify if the side point position and the feedback position, they are making sense, okay? And in case you are now using the Siemens drive, for example, you are using the Perfinite control other brand server motor. Basically, you have to disable this DCS. And without this DCS enable, basically, you need to set those parameters to zero. You have to manually change the KV parameter, the closed loop gain. After you disable the DIC function, your positioning closed loop controller will locate into the PLC side. Then when you tune the KV this parameter, this parameter locate into the PLC side and send the command to the server drive. So you can imagine without using the DIC function, you have to, to pay a lot of efforts on the KV, the position and closed loop game, this tuning. But using the DIC function, using Siemens drive and the DIC function, it almost takes zero efforts on the gain tuning. It's saving a lot of time. And here you maybe feel confused why using the Siemens drive, I have to enable the DCS. 
So here, let me introduce. And if you go to the section 1.2.4, so when we use the Siemens servo drive and enable the DIC function, and we can see the positioning closed loop located in the drive side. So that closed loop and the sample time will be very fast, like this. So this is the 125 milliseconds, much faster. Okay, if you are using the third end drive, basically your closed loop is located into the PLC side, and this precision loop is communicating with the perfinite. So you rely on the communication back and forth. This is much longer than the internal closed loop. We can see the typical cycle time will be four milliseconds. So this is much longer. And then let's go to the section 2.2. This area, this is very important. Using the DCS and to tune the positioning control. Firstly, we need to keep in mind the drive, the telegram, we need to use the telegram 5, 6, 105, or 106. Typically, if you're using the one drive, one encoder, you can use the 105. This is a very regular and a common telegram while using the servo control. And then you can use the one button tuning with the mechanical load connected with the motor and then setting this movement range to prevent your server drive run too far, right? And then you can set this dynamic response setting, standard or dynamic or conservative. And you click the one button tuning we introduced before. And after the one button tuning here, the system internally will provide one value from this R5276. And based on this value, you can get the KV reference value. And how to calculate this reference value here, there are some description at here. When we enable the DIC function, we will use the first line, this equation. That parameter reading from the 5276, this value, we need to times 1000 over 60 because this is based on the 1000 RPM, 1000 that's the revolutions, and the 60 that is the second. So using this conversion here, after this calculation, and multiply 50%, don't forget this 50%, and after this calculation, that is the KV gain parameter you can use as a reference. And you can base on this value to decrease or increase a little bit on the KV value. This is much easier to tune the KV. And to verify if this performance makes sense or that fit for your system, and you, you can use this trace function to monitor the precision in the setting set point and the feedback actual precision. Okay, this is a rough idea. All right, let's shift to the TIA portal side and let's see how this procedure can process. Okay, let's shift to the TI portal side. Here, I would like to mention the precondition again. To enable the DIC function allows the positioning closed loop located into the server drive side. Firstly, you need to use the Siemens drive and then enable this DIC. And the perfect communication, you need to configure the IRT communication. That means top logic area, you need to configure the top logic. And third, when we set up the connection, we need to select the telegram 105, 106. And then the main role is this KV gain under this technology object closed loop. So we can click this take value from drive. But before that, we can jump to the drive and do this one button tuning. So click and do the one button tuning. And after we do the one button tuning, let's see now. So we will do the one button tuning. Okay, this is the new parameter after the one button tuning. And after that, we will see the parameter. Uh, let's go to the red parameter. Five two seventy six. Okay, this parameter KV. That's the parameter after one button tuning. This is the parameter showing the manual R fifty two seventy eight. 
but this parameter you cannot directly use that. Basically, we need to calculate like this. 89 times 16.66. That's because the unit, that's the 1000 RPM. So let's calculate this. And this 14.89 times 16.66. So it equal to 248. Okay, 248. And then we need to times 50%, uh, less over two, that times 50%, this is 124. So the 124, that is the maximum value for the gain at that positioning closed loop. So then we go to the positioning closed loop, go back to the TO here and commissioning. And now if I active, at this commissioning here, this is the red motor commissioning at this TO. Okay, this is the TO. And now, if I confirm the fault, go to tuning, active this tuning for the gain loop. And if now I take value from the drive, we will see this is the gain value 124. That is the 50% of this 248 value okay this value come from the parameter r5276 okay this is this value and then we need to translate a parameter the unit and uh, equal to this and then after this we need to time 50 percent then equal to 124 this is a reference value for the positioning closed loop gain, KV. Okay, so basically this is the gain parameter we can use. And after based on this value, you can still do the forward and the backward and do some tuning. And now if I'm using this value, okay, 124, okay. And now if I enable this access, we will travel 720, okay? And now if I click this forward, so the motor will travel. In the meantime, we will record uh, here, okay? So we can click this 100%, and now we can see the match very close. So this is a 4179, 4176, it has a three degrees, okay? So this is a, the offset, and the right and the, this dark right, this is one for position, one for actual position, okay? And if you need to change the game, you can change here, or change this online value, okay? Also some cases you can change this pre-control, this speed pre-control from zero to 150, okay? All right, this is the positioning loop fine tuning. And this is the game parameter we can change. Okay, this game parameter, if we go back to the TO configuration, so at this closed loop, this control loop here, this gain, you can change the parameter, okay? If you press this take over, take value from the drive after you did the one button tuning. So you can read the gain parameter from the drive and make sure for the Siemens drive, basically we are using the DSC, the dynamic server motor, okay? And this positioning closed loop controller located into the drive, it responds much faster than the PLC running as the controller. All right, this is the video for today. How to set this KV positioning gain. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.